You know, Psalm 910 tells us, and those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. The great preacher Charles Haddon Spurgeon once said, ignorance is worst when it amounts to ignorance of God and knowledge is best when it exercises itself upon the names of God. Studying the names of God acquaints us with his nature. While God is infinite, he is not distant. So even though we can't fully grasp all there is to know about him, he wants to teach us everything we can possibly comprehend. Because the better we know the Lord, the more we trust him. So it's important for us to understand how the names of God reveal his nature. For example, when we understand that God has infinite wisdom, then we trust him further than we can feel him. And we recognize that God is all powerful. We trust him when circumstances are more difficult than our ability is to handle them. See, knowing God is good. It gives believers faith to trust him in persecution, even to death. And the more we trust God, the more we seek him. You see, we see this demonstrated throughout the Psalms in the life of David. We can even tell why David was seeking the Lord by the names he chose to use for God. Names such as refuge, rock, strong tower, and helper. They all reveal the aspect of God's character that David had come to trust. He didn't seek God with blind faith, but in belief. Belief built upon knowing the nature behind the names. He trusted the Lord with his present because he had personally experienced the Lord's character in the past. Finally, the more we seek God, the more we realize his faithfulness. <laughs> God dis doesn't disappoint. He doesn't abandon his people. That's why 2 Timothy 1, 12, the apostle Paul says, for this reason I also suffer these things, but I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and I am convinced that he is able to guard what I've entrusted to him until that day. Facing adversity doesn't mean God has abandoned us. It simply means we live in a fallen world. But when we know all the nature of God through the names of God, we can trust that he will be our shelter and our shield. He is our deliverer from sin's penalty and power. He is our resurrection so that death itself can't separate us from his great name. In what situation do you need to trust the Lord right now? Seek his character and his word. Write down the names of God that reveal his ability to be faithful in that situation. Then trust the nature behind God's name. God bless you and thanks for being with us today.